we talked about he was gonna come up and do one, look at it one time and then come back and if he thought it was good thumbs up he was gonna go for it and I just see him blasting in and then launched just straight into the freaking bridge holy shit that scared me and then his kite went into the bushes and like I'm really glad it didn't pop or I hope there's no holes in it but Jesus Round two, he's, he's up 40 he's like I am young if I break something I have time to heal that's his excuse <laughs> Previously on Delos, we buried a bottle of moonshine on a deserted island, did a little review of our bottom paint experiment, and I accidentally kicked blue right in the face. So today is a really, really exciting day. Um, I know I've wanted to learn to kite for years now and just never really had the opportunity or the gear or yeah, just nothing had aligned until right now. Everything's perfect and I couldn't be more excited today. <laughs> Let's go. So we decided that we wanted to go back to Union Island um, to do some kiteboarding lessons with our friend Pokemon that we met there days ago and the weather has taken a bit of a turn and it is pretty gnarly out right now. The weather sucks, it's rainy, the sun went away. It's not that like extreme, it's just ugh. Look at it. I have to close my driving hole that that's tough times. Pulled into Frigate Bay and it is friggin' dumping on us. Our plan was to anchor behind Frigate Island, a very protected anchorage created in part by a failed marina project. The plans for a super yacht marina had fallen through, leaving the remains of a gigantic breakwater behind. Nature had since taken over, and the local government was in the middle of turning the area into a nature preserve. Not only is it an ideal place to anchor for a few days, but also a great spot to learn how to kiteboard. It's Monday on Delos, and today is a very special day because we've been planning to learn to kiteboard for like years. I think we got our first kiteboard set up in Tonga in 2010, and we almost killed ourselves, and then we got rid of it, and then we took some lessons in Australia in like 2013. And now we're in Union Island in the Caribbean and come on in buddy. Come on. <laughs> Don't be shy now. I'm not shy. We've got Pokemon, the local <laughs> local legend here. And he's going to be giving us Pokemon! What's up, brother? Hey, good, good to see you. you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> you, you may you may recognize him from the cooking fiesta the other night. <laughs> hey Pokemon. Hey, if you're half as good at kiteboarding as you are at bacon chicken, yeah. I'm sold. Okay. You do that. <laughs> <laughs> she did a great job cooking for us. A bunch of drunk sailors. Yep. And uh, we're gonna try and learn to kiteboard today. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been kite surfing for, Pokemon? Well, you can say for now, I can say 11 years now, actually. And um, I've been loving it for all my years, so pretty sure uh, I'll get better at it and start traveling and try to reach for in life. And hope I do some competition. <laughs> Sweet, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming out today. You're welcome. Brand new, never been touched gear, man. Ooh. You do it like that. Seen it? 
it's not good because in the water, that's how it's going to be. It's going to be flipping like easy like that. Pump and more. Pump more. Really long. Ah, it's really hard. Yeah. Have you ever done this before, Kaza? No. This is something new. It's brand new. Look at all these bees. What's going on? A lot of bees around here. Really? And then you're gonna walk all the way to the kite. Yeah. There you go. So Pokemon's just explaining us how to set everything up, and it's really crazy. You realize how much like science goes into these designs because between this much of a difference, like this is low power and this is high power, depending on how you set it up, low power, high power. It's the first thing, and you're gonna connect to the bar. Always put the leash first. This is your leash. Second thing, chicky loop. It's called a chicky loop. It goes here, not like that. Mm -hmm. Here, and third thing, donkey dick. The donkey dick goes here to keep the chicky loop hooked up to you. If it doesn't, you just fall back out. See? Yeah. So always first important, save your body than to save your kite. Okay. So, if you're in an emergency, first thing, you let go of the bar. First rule. Second, pull the, the chicken loop. Then the leash is gonna pull out the strength of the kite, which is the power. Right? When it pulls out the power, the kite cannot fly anymore. It will just fall on the on the water. If it still have pressure and the leash is pulling you, you can reach back here and there's an arrow pointing downwind. See? Down that way. When it points that way and it's pulling, you just pull and everything will just Gone. Last case scenario. Yeah. So, so I'm kiting, I'm kiting. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, oh. oh you kept and I I kept the eyes on the titties the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dangerous distraction. If you want the kite not to pull you, then you have to keep it at 12. 12 will be right above your head. When you're relaunching, you should always relaunch it like this. Just in case of emergency. It's always good for that. If I go like this. See? He's getting pressure up there. Too much pressure. But if I go here, see? He get less pressure. So if I tell him like this, just to raise it off the ground a bit like that. So, one extension, I raise my right, yeah, my left hand, and I bring it up slowly with my left hand. And I push the ball away. See? When I do that, I keep here, just in case of a moment. I think it's cool. I think we have an excellent teacher with us, which goes a really long way. And to pull down. So if you pull down and right, you see, it will yeah. follow. Yeah. So that's how you can steer. Yeah, there's just like perfect conditions to learn. He explains everything super, super thoroughly and like multiple times and shows you and lets you do it. And um, yeah, he's just like a cool guy to be around and a good teacher. So I think, I think it's good. So what would happen if you just let go right now? If you let go right now, the guy would just fall. It down. would just fall. Yeah. So you'd have to ease out and then yeah, ease out and then turn to the yeah, left turn to the on left. one handle yeah. to get it to go to get it back up floating. Okay. How'd you do, brother? That's cool, man. That's probably the first time I felt like, all right, I really, really, really felt the kite. Because he was making us do like twelve o'clock for three minutes, one o'clock for three minutes, two o'clock for three minutes, three o'clock for three minutes, and after you're looking up like this for like 20, 25 minutes, I just like found it hard to like stay focused. Okay. Let's go down to one o'clock. Honestly, I was a little nervous, but I think I got it. It's easy to control if you just chill out and take it real slow. More finesse than manhandling. Yeah. All about the finesse. I think Kaz is going to do real good. Push It's a brilliant day to do a kite session. To learn, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah. So what's next? What do we do next? So next we're gonna be doing uh, the body, the board, but uh, sorry, the water body jog. So this one is a board body jog. How like how to get back to your board when you lose it. And this the other step is how we're gonna do some eights. Oh. Okay. Like two, because on the board you're gonna start from twelve. <laughs> how to do some figure, you know? Ah, okay. Just to get the feelings to raise up on the board. You know, you will not go as yet, but just to get the feelings first. Mm -hmm. you know? oh, yeah. <laughs> that was really 
Cool! Oh. Oh, it's awesome to feel it dragging you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the fun you can have with a dinghy and a kite board. Uh oh. <laughs> After our first lesson, it was time to head back to Delos and do some chores. We kind of decided that we were going to do a weekly cleaning of the bathroom. Oh, weekly? There's mm -hmm. four people using it. You guys are tearing it up up here. Now, yeah, mm. so it gets, gets gross fast. But um, Jordan was an angel and she actually remembered that today was her day to clean it. But she hasn't done it yet, so I was just explaining it to her. She's our birthday angel. Yeah. <laughs> this is my post birthday day. How are we feeling today? I'm actually okay. Yeah, I kept it's it, the, we the kept moonshine. It pretty mellow last night. The moonshine yeah. is good. Mm hmm. Yeah, you guys yeah. were troopers. You were like taking British. shots of rum before bed. I was like, um. I gotta go to sleep now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I was just telling her basically kind of start from top to bottom. With Drain. I want to hear about the drain. Okay, yeah. So once you get down behind the toilet, that's kind of where some gross stuff gets. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to pick this thing up, take it outside on the back, and just scrub both sides of it with the. Brush. You're gonna want to film that with a GoPro. Yeah, you Because there's all sorts of whatever gone into the drain, gets yeah. a lot in there, so it's a treasure. Well, the, the boys basically shaved all their pubes off yesterday, apparently, oh. so now they don't have to worry about pubes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um. Here, George's getting real, real nasty. Ooh! Yeah. Yo, got some sand in there, got some hair, got whatever the fuck that is. Ooh. While I've got you here, let's segue right into a little segment that I like to call Bathroom Talk with Jordan. <laughs> when you're living on notes, there are a few important things that you need to know about the head. When you live on Delos, you gotta use your head about the head. So let's dive right in. Rule number one, as is posted right above the toilet, do not flush anything but poos keys, and a little toilet paper. Please hold a red button for 10 seconds to flush. The next thing you should know about your bathroom experience on Delos is that it's important to use your time to reflect on your life while you're in here. You are the big bang. Live, create, tell the story. Don't worry, be happy. One of the most important rules is no pooping when the water maker is running. I think that rule can kind of explain itself, but in case you're not following, if you poo while the water maker's running, you're making water, drinking water, from water that's got your own poo in it, and nobody wants that. Here's a few hot tips to keep your movements nice and smooth. Tip number one, when the conditions are rough or there's a squall about, make sure to practice good balance and safety. Tip number two, you must always remember to make sure that this switch is never left closed. Otherwise, you might find yourself balls deep in a level 10 cold brown. Tip number three, you should always remember if you drop an extra stinky one to close the secondary door to lock the fumes into the primary bathroom. Well folks, if you follow these simple rules, you'll find yourself to be a pooping pro here on Delos. Hope you enjoyed this segment of Bathroom Talk. Tune in next time as we talk about DIY arts and crafts to liven up your bathroom atmosphere. Did you hear me in there? I was like, I know I got you here. It's gonna lead us right into a little segment I like to call Bathroom Talk with Jordan. And I did it like game show host style of like explain like showing all the signs in the bathroom nice. and like the rules of the toilet and stuff. All right, it's our second day in Union Islands, and this morning we're super stoked to get in there and try it again because 
The wind is pumping today. What do you think, Mr. Brady? Yeah, uh, there's definitely more wind today than there has been like the past week or so. Uh, I'm a bit nervous, actually. <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna get slammed a few times, but. Oh my god, you just got ripped. But this is what it's all about, man. Are At you least ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready, yeah. It's supposed to increase all day by 6 p.m. tonight. It should be 25 or so. Oh, wait. Yeah. All right. Good morning, good morning. Hey, good morning. How are we doing today? Really good. Yeah? Yeah. Is it a good day? Yeah, How's good. The, the wind? The wind is good. And a good sunny day, and it's a beautiful spot to do the board lessons. We're so, so stoked, man. <laughs> what are the... Yo! <laughs> Whoa, that scared the shit out of me, man. This board flying right at your face. How are you feeling right now? I feel a bit nervous. <laughs> but it'll be okay. <laughs> no, you have that though. You're not gonna crash into No, they will know you're a beginner, so they will get away. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, let's get out of that girl. Yeah, let's get out of the way. <laughs> exactly. Ready? Stick the guys. Focus on the 12 o'clock, bend the board, set all the way in, the kite will float you. When you send the kite, the kite will pull you up like that. When I pull you like that, always lean back here. Okay? Are you just gonna let me go now? Yeah, I have to go alone, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you have this really fast! I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? I told you, once the kite get lower, you're gonna go fast. <laughs> Ooh. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna cruise man. straight out to Delos. Oh, oh my god, he just got ripped. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we forgot to push the ball away. Oh. Remember, you have to push the ball away. <laughs> Not like that. But then slowly the lessons began to stick. Oh yeah! Yes! She's jamming! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Kelsa! <laughs> hey, Blue Dog! Look at her go! Come on, guys! <laughs> She's off on a downwind mission! <laughs> She's just going! The only problem was we hadn't yet mastered the art of turning. And we spent quite a bit of time playing chase boat with Maggie. Yeah, keep going. Follow him, follow your brother, follow your brother now. Yeah, go get him. Yeah, keep going. Go, 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 go. Woo, 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 woo. Keep going. Got it. Go, 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 Watching too much. <laughs> I need to get him before he gets to the boat. Good run, Brian! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. First impressions? It's fast. <laughs> I probably have like that much salt water that went into my stomach. <laughs> With the lessons for the day complete, we asked Pokemon and his mates to show us what it was all about.
So today we're gonna jump the bridge, which is I jumped it three times this morning already, and it's gonna be my fourth time jumping it again. Which is crazy, but a good win, and I hope I make it. If you miss, then you can get bingo in there, you know? That's what happened to this toe. Yeah, that's happened to this toe when I got bingo in there. Ah, there you go. See the sand's coming out. You gotta get that sand out. Okay, just let that sit for a little while. Wipe the outside, but leave the inside. Let's see if we, if we can make it today. Good luck to you, man. Thank you. Guys. I think you're gonna make it, man. We're gonna have a lot of cameras set up for you. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I was worried he was gonna like fall backwards back into the water and hurt himself, but he just kind of climbed through. That was crazy. Well, we talked about he was gonna come up and do look at it one time and then come back, and if he thought it was good, thumbs up, he was gonna go for it. And I just see him blasting in and then launched just straight into the freaking bridge. Holy shit, that scared me. And then his kite went into the bushes and like, I'm really glad it didn't pop or I hope there's no holes in it, but. Jesus. Round two, though. He's, he's up for He's like, I am young. If I break something, I have time to heal. That's his excuse. <laughs> Even though Pokemon didn't clear the bridge, he was still all smiles and invited us over to his humble abode for a farewell feast. So now we're gonna make some good big chicken, good big pie, and on a, on a stove baked with pie? fire. Yeah, stove with fire. You'll what kind of, what <laughs> kind of pie? <laughs> it's called it the macaroni pie. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. So you oh, guys, in, when you reach there, you guys relax, drink beers, and I'll cook. Okay, cool. Oh, you're a gentleman. That sounds like a plan. Yes. Yeah, so there's five of us, is that all right? Nah, we can all fit in here, no problem. Hey guys, we got a ride. Sit <laughs> down, What's your name, man? I'm Curtis. Curtis. Yeah, right. what, what do people call you? Joe. Joe. Yeah. How'd you get that nickname? My uh, name is Joe Grind. Joe Grind. Joe, Joe Grind. Yes. Oh, yeah, like okay. Because I had a taxi, you know, the lady is my leg. Yeah. Guys, they're good. So they call me Joe Grimes. If you look at the meaning of Joey Grimes, yeah. Google you and see those people. Okay, Joe Grimes, game on. Top definition, Joe Grimes. The man that's at your house taking care of your wife or girlfriend while you are at work. Some of your kind of thoughts and impressions of um, the town over here. Of Union? It's just like a really slow, chill, Kiteboarding town, I would say. Union Union has a lot more tourist stuff in, in, in one place than what Grenada had. Grenada was kind of all over the place where the tourists were, but this is like there's one strip with all the cafes and bars, and you can tell it's really influenced by kiteboarding. It's really, it's really cool. It's a good vibe. It's very chill. Everybody's so friendly, and it's really yeah. safe. I can do my house. So this is the house of Pokemon. Yeah. Where all the magic happens. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a lot of chicken wings. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Good friends from the university. This happens. 
Really good. We need to do more mac and cheese on the boat. I agree. Got some gifts for Pokemon. We've been going for seven today. For being such a such a legend. <laughs> Not just a great kiteboard instructor, but a good guy. Good heart, good person. It's like a never-ending smile. Never-ending smile. He's always happy. He's like a true life Pokemon character. He's like always like, bing, 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 like hopping around, trying to jump bridges and shit. <laughs> First, the most important thing because you're part of the Delos crew now. Yeah. Because you were on the boat and you've taught us something. We have to give you an official Delos cap. Oh, it's very special. So whenever you go over to other sailboats, you have to wear that. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> now I can jump the bridge. Thank you, brother. Of course, brother. Yeah. It, it was a good couple of days, yeah. man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Pokemon. You just made this crazy <laughs> meal. Good teacher. That's the structure of the curriculum. Man, chef. Yeah. Slash. Slash chicken chef. <laughs> <laughs> Next on Delos, we set sail north towards Beckway. It's the chill day of Caribbean sailing, eh? <laughs> Dive into a cave and explore what could be the next Delos compound. You might find yourself deep in the middle of a code brown, like this. Otherwise, you might find yourself balls deep in the middle of a level 10 code brown. Otherwise, you might find yourself balls deep in the level... Otherwise, you might find yourself level... Some of you out there might be well aware of the fact that there are poo particles all over bathrooms around the world, including our very own bathroom here on Delos. I don't believe in poo particles. I don't believe in them. Well, some people don't believe that man walked on the moon, but yeah, here we are. <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> you like it? I like it a lot.